Hello, I'm Robin Worley. Welcome to Lenscraft. Today, I want to try something a little bit different. Rather than showing you how to edit photos or how to do certain things in Photoshop or Lightroom, I want to answer a question that I had by email. Now, someone sent me this email saying, could you use Affinity Photo to produce and edit book covers? So I want to try to demonstrate this using one of my own book covers and to try to show how you can do this using Affinity Photo for Windows. Now, if you're not familiar with the Affinity range of products, they actually produce a piece of software that's very similar to Photoshop in its operation. And there's a number of versions of this. Traditionally, it was always that Affinity Photo was only available on the Mac, but more recently, they've ported it over to the iPad and also the Windows platform, which is what I'm using now. On screen at the moment, you can see the book cover that I'm going to be reproducing. This one is fairly simple. It was produced in Photoshop, but I'm actually going to generate it again, but this time using Affinity Photo. And hopefully I can show you how easy it is to actually add all the same sorts of effects into, uh, into this image. So I'm going to close that down. And I'm left with the starting image, which I've already cropped to size and adjusted. The first thing I'm going to do is add in the text that I want to appear on the image. So what I'm going to do here is pick the point where I want the text to appear. And now I can actually position and interestingly resize that text. I can also reselect it and change some of the features of it. So I'm actually going to change the color of this now to be white and I'm going to change the weight of my name to be bold and I'm also going to increase the size of that. So there you can see I can adjust the text individually and change the characteristics of different parts. And we'll make the by part just that little bit smaller. Now we'll just position that there and we'll add in the title text next. And I'm going to do this in two sections of text. Now the Photoshop part, I didn't want in white, so I'm going to change the color of that. And I'm going to change that to something more of a midnight blue color. So if I pull the colors down here to uh, 25, and I can also enter the colors individually 25 and 60 that gives me a nice dark blue photoshop color a bit like the color that you'd see on the background for the photoshop logo next i'll add the other element of the title and immediately because i've made a mistake there you can see that it's suggesting i correct the text And I can now reposition that. Now, the other thing is, it's actually the wrong colour. I want that to be white. So there we can correct it easily. I'll just reselect it and I'll resize it so that it's a similar size to the other title. Now, one of the things that this doesn't seem to give you that is available in Photoshop is the automatic grid aligning. Now, I suspect if I look through the interface, I'll probably find a way to actually create some snapping to a grid and other features which allow me to align text much more precisely. Now, the other thing I want to do is to draw
The next thing I want to do is actually add a background banner now across the image. And to do that, I'm going to use the shape tool. And there's a lot of different shapes you can use here, but I'm just going to use a straightforward rectangle. I don't want that to be white. I actually want to fill it with black. Or actually, I'm going to fill it with mid-tone grey. And I'll set that by typing in the colour values. And if I move over to the layers window here, you can see that the rectangle is on top, which is causing it to hide the text that we've added. So I'll move that down. And I'm also going to set the opacity of that layer now to reduce it so that we can see the image behind it also. The outline of that is actually in black, the stroke, sorry, the outlines in white so I want it to be black so we'll just change that I hadn't noticed that uh, that was the case so now we have a black stroke to it the next thing I want to do is actually add some text effects now to this Photoshop layers element here so I can click on it to select it it's quite nice the way that uh, the affinity photo allows you to just click on an element and it will select the the layer for you and we can ha add now the um, shadow effect that we want to create so i'm going to use an outline shadow and i can actually get quite a lot of shadow effects here so first thing i'm going to do is reposition the direction of the shadow i'm going to give the shadow a little bit of a, a radius i'll give it a reasonably good offset there and you can also adjust the intensity but that's actually enough to make the, the Photoshop layer element quite uh, noticeable I'm just going to make the radius or spread of the shadow a little bit more so that's the element there and the final thing that I need to do now is just place a outline around the outside of the book and again I can go to the effects and pick the outline option we'll see the outline effects here and I want a radius for the outline of about four pixels that's usually enough with a book like this and I'm just going to set the alignment yep to the inside and I can now close that and there's the book with the outline complete and just so you can see that I'm going to change the background color here so we'll use the rather than a dark interface which looks very nice but it's not very good for actually seeing things on I'm just going to go to the light interface and there you go you can actually see the outline around the book now and that's actually the book cover complete so to answer the question can you use affinity photo to create book covers the answer is yes you can it appears to be actually very good at doing that sort of work. I'm Robin Worley, this is Lenscraft, thanks for watching.